reason I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2 is because I did a I did a Twitter poll and it was 50-50 Mafia 3 and then it was Red Dead Redemption was the next game. So after Red Dead Redemption 2, who knows what the next game is going to be. But I'm going to tell you guys this. This game right here, the campaign, is going to take me a super, super long time to do. I actually looked it up, and all I'm going to say is this is going to take me some time, guys. But hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. America was becoming a land of laws. Even the West had mostly been tamed. Few gains still roamed, but they were hunted down and destroyed. I don't know if you guys can hear it, let me... Yeah, let me try to change this up real quick because I think it is in my settings. Might no. Could it be audio? Yeah, I have it through headphones. Maybe surround. Let's see if you guys can hear it. Hold on. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah!
Bring him in here. Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you are going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. This? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. Okay, what's up? <laughs> what? I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it gladly. But. We are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. There's Jack Stay and Abigail. With me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So. They both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. Okay. If I, I mean, if you told me to go out here in the cold, I would not do it. <laughs> It's true. We'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start.
What about the money? Was it a trap? Um. So, do you think it was a trap in Blackwater? Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen, found anything? And there's Micah. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Where's John? If Michael went with John, where is he? Thank you, Arthur. Are you sure about this? You run into anybody else? Yeah. You run into anybody else? Watch out. I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. It ain't much, but shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like that? Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. This is a setup, if anything. Okay. Let's head down there. Health is displayed on the lower left. Okay. Let's hitch up here. Yeah, I hear music being played. Talk. We don't want to scare these folks. All right. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that way. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. Dutch is just gonna go up by himself. Alrighty then. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Ah, oh, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. <laughs> I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. Oh. <laughs> it's a 
There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some there's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go. Buddy. Now, friend. I ain't asking for much. Please. I am kind of desperate. Hey. I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. It's goddamn Dutch. And here we go. Where? Man, he won't last out there by himself. That's my boy, Arthur. Good shooting. Goddamn O'Driscoll boys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe the same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. The hell is that? Oh, it's a chair. Doesn't look like one at all. Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. You're taking all of this. Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. A biscuit. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. All right. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. There's nothing really out there. I saw. Just says blood on the bottom right corner. I think that's pretty much it. I don't really see anything else besides that wedding photo. Maybe there's something. There's just a chair, a bed. Maybe something in this little. Oh, the chest. Oh, I got a dollar. Awesome. The hell am I gonna do with that?
Those are Hawthorns. Artists, painters, writers, and poets. Alrighty then. What's taking so long in there? I'm getting out of here. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. There's gonna be you know there's gonna be more hiding out. <laughs> yep. Knew there's one hide in the park. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> You have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. You know he's gonna go warn him. That was my dog. Barking. I don't know why. Is that bastard still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. The hell is going on? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them old Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you fucking oh, fool? Michael. Miss. Now, it is going to be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss. Miss. Come on. It's Jesus okay. Christ. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. 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 Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. They bought this man. They... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. This lady's crazy. You come with us. Of course. Yes. It's okay. Bad man. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. S Sadie. He. He was my husband. That house is, uh, done. Hey! 
Somebody's coming. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Easy. Uh, Mike have found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Cole O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. I think that, hold on one second. I think the dude with the gun that was saying Dutch is back is Lenny. I'm pretty That's sure. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Because Arthur is like the second in command and you're really nothing. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Uh, Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. <laughs> oh. Bro. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Well, wouldn't be the first time. True. Guys, I'm only gonna do the first chap the chapters, so chapter by chapter is how I'll do this. Hey, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of Odriscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. Ah. So, yeah, see where John Marston is. You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. I can't ask him a question. Take it slow. 
Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. We continue along the cliff wall here. Davy got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. No one knows about Sean. Boys showed up from the other side of town. We were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. I don't understand why I cannot physically ask a question. But already then. Come on, boy. Horses are struggling. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. We can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Oh, Jesus. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on. Up there. Yeah, John here. Shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Yep, I got it. Come on. Oh, boom. <laughs> boom, baby. <laughs> So my question is just not gonna be answered, okay. Dude, how far is he?
How you doing? I'm miserable. Been a tough few days. I know. Here, take a drink of that. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. I hate the snow too. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. How the hell did he get it? So good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? <laughs> I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. I kind of like this uh, camera angle because you can see everything. And the wuss are here. Perfect. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. And the wood pack is there. Oh man, I hate to do this, but I have to. I'm not gonna attract it. Oh shit, I'm dead. No, oh, I don't want to do it. That's what I get. <laughs> you see that on the ridge? Perfect. I'll distract him while you get to the horse. Go. Draw them off. Okay, here we go, John. So I don't have to kill him. I think they'll be fine, because it's just basically a straightaway for Javier and John. Me, you big bastard. I don't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. Okay, let's get going before any more of these bastards show up. 
Come on then, let's get back to the others. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. <laughs> you know, fella, got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. are lucky right now. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. So I can't e ask either question during the whole time here, but... Help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Oh, here we go. There we go. Ay, oh. careful! It's your thighs. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that... that civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <laughs> We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough, I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? Well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. Very interesting plan right there. Okay, so let me look at the map real quick. 
Okay, so Bill and Mr. Pearson. So that so Bill was the one pretty much with like all the stuff. Or he's over here. It's Javier. I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. There's Bill. Well, but when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> what a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around wait for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators. Here. Comb? always had good information come on you think now is the right time to hit a train now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit i'm getting too old for that life mr matthews mr smith mr pearson would you please look after the place there are o'driscoll's about yeah! all right here we go Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're huh? camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they... So Javier and Bill are going with us. So it's Judge Javier and Bill coming with. The only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest one way or I'm with Arthur on this. Yep. It will be. So, it's Lenny. Yep, I got it. Okay, so that was Lenny. So the whole crew pretty much besides John and Jose. said it was near the lake so we must be close Good. Now, 
Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Oh, I'm supposed to go with Dutch. That's the usual schools. So. Yeah, that's him. Just look around, there's the horse. They don't seem very happy. No. Uh oh. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. Alrighty. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Quick, grab that repeater and let's get Dude, I cannot run in the snow. There we go. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Alrighty. Just glad I don't have to crouch underneath here. But I don't know why Arthur's just losing faith, it seems like, in Dutch.
Well, Lenny. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. Yeah, where's the rest of the crew? Oh, I, s I think I see them. I think they're the, like the little gray dots on the map. I think that's them. There's Micah. Let's get in cover. Yeah, I'm gonna get right here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get go right here. Quick before you're spotted. We got everything we need. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. We don't have time to debate this. Did you hear something then? Okay, I'll go first. It's going crazy up here. Oh, go! Yeah, I'm taking the lead. Yeah, I need some cover. I love how he says a pistol won't do, but he takes one. Like, really, Dutch? Great! <laughs> the first five minutes! Alrighty. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Yeah, I see that guy up to the top. I'm gonna take him out first. There we go. Yep, I see him. That was pretty cool. Give a damn about his 
man. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Keep looking! We need everything we can get off of these bastards! Alrighty. I probably should have defended, but hey. Coming down with the horses. They're right there. Keep an eye out for any more of the bastards. Good work, boys. Now, Dutch has the white horse. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Okay, uh, well first off, I'm gonna have to put my horse, like, way over here, because if I'm detonating something, that thing, this building's going, so. Where am I detonating? Hey, this looks good. What do you think, Bill? Looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Matt, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe. I know they will all be back. Well, you didn't get calm, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, 
He'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Well, let's hope not. Yeah, we're hogtying you, dude. Coming with me. You got me mixed up with someone else. Please, please, you don't need to do this. I'm no use to you, really. Your name, boy. I don't know. You don't know your name. <laughs> Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Something you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. Dude, I cannot see anything right now. I'm I can't see crap. That should keep him alive, so that's what we're gonna do. You better shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. <laughs> Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this uncle. up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot, fellas. Is need shooting? Save, fellas. Is need saving? And feed him as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. 
Well, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Cold as hell. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. No, it's We're okay. Just talk to Pearson. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? Ten, twelve people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Who's this? Wait a second. Hold on. Here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. From what my memory serves correctly, I think that's Charles. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. Yep. You think this is rest? See, I'm good at this. Come along. <coughs> here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. <laughs> Come on, this way. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. Uh, riding north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Near the Zarfer. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. I love these, like, little action scenes that, like, zoom the camera out. Love it. This game's graphics are absolutely fantastic, and I'm loving... So far, the storyline's been pretty good. Literally, it's been, introduce you to the character, introduce you to the character. Like, that's what I love about, like, single-player story games. It's like, here's an introduction to the character. So, literally, we've been introduced to pretty much everyone, but John's story was kind of the same. Charles, hopefully we get a story on all the characters here. I mean, pretty much we know Bill's story. We know 
Javier's and Dutch's from Red Dead Redemption 1. So, makes sense. But, like, Charles and Lenny and Hosea, we don't know anything about them yet. Hopefully we find out more, but... Let me see, Charles. There's deer been here and recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. See the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. Oh, I see it. Shh. Down there. You see him? Are you ready with that bow? Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick. There's another one I see it. There's a couple up there. Okay, Charles, you're not going to say anything here? Got it. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. 
So they weren't that far apart. I'm gonna get this packed on my board. Here we go, boy. Ready to head back when you are. Sure. Come on then, let's head back. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. Uh, careful. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering yep. how things were looking a couple of days back, so well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't <laughs> Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. Yup, see? Of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. Cut up here. Off the trail. It's all right, boy. Talk that much, you mate. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Black water mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. Yep. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you can run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. 
I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Jesus. Uh, Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. <laughs> I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. So I think jo excuse me, Arthur is in like his maybe 40s or 50s. Something happened to the count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Are we almost there? Yeah, I think we are. I can't ask Charles a question. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, yeah. Thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well! <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. His he uncle. loves me really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you saying it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> a few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. Dutch. Being Dutch, he is busy making plans and 
Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. You see me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill! Now you go ahead and set the charge. Do I have a bad relationship? Just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking, we could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just. I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? He's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! Everyone ready? All right, let's head out! Okay, gentlemen, listen up. All Guys, I hate to do this, but I am going to end part one of RDR Red Dead Redemption 2 right here. I will see you guys in the next one. We will rob the train. Thank, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe and peace out.